actually, I didn't read it all, but I loved it! Sin was hiding in a toilet for a long time, and Dip got all creepy and weird and gross from waiting for too long. Also, Dip's eyes are brown! But they keep changing color. Come on, comic making people! Ha! Huh, I kid. I love you, but don't make me angry! Why isn't anything blowing up? This space is boring! There's nothing left to blow up here. We blew it all up! My tallest, we're receiving a transmission from... Invader Zim! Invader who? I don't remember. The guy that sends us the space donuts? No, no, that's Invader Jim. So who? Ah! My tallest! Now that you've been worried sick about where I've been all this time? Well, I'll be made clear soon when my evil plan succeeds. And when it does, which it will, you know, all city and life in the galaxy will know. <laughs> I have to yell because Gary is making us moody! Bye! Oh, right. Him. He's... he's not dead? <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down! We'll think of something to get rid of him later. According to my calculations, I'm lost. Somewhere in space. Computer, is there any way you can, you know, track Zim's proton signature or something? Zim ship is made from garbage and it's practically farting its way across the galaxy. So yes, I can track it. I just don't want to. Oh, uh... Because I hate you! Real mature computer, you know what I hate? Mankind being destroyed by insane alien invaders! So I'm trying to stop that. Zim escaped out here to do something horrible. I need your help to find him, but your bad attitude isn't helping. Sorry, but despite your tampering, this is still tax and I still think on her personality. So I'll do what you ask, but I don't have to like it, or you. Come on, I'm cool. You're going up to Zim, an arrogant invader with untold decades of military training and a history of violence and mayhem. You don't know where he's going or what he plans to do. And you are a feeble, unarmed human in a stolen ship, and you have no idea how to do it. When you catch him, you are going to. What exactly? Well, stop him! Right. Checking in his garbage signature for the Earth Baby with no plan. Good! Now let's prepare ourselves for whatever unspeakable horrors we're about to find! <sighs> uh. I love these quiet moments where I can, you know, talk to myself. I wish I was charmier. Where is he? Well, look at you. I've never seen one of you before. I know Zim's here. I tracked his ship here. I can practically smell his sweaty evil. There's no evil here, and I'm just real sweaty. This is just a space donut gift shop. Welcome! See anything you like. Have you seen a tiny red-eyed urchin with a tinier stupid robot? Does it read a squeep soup? Yells a lot. Oh, him! Yeah, he was here. Yell a lot. Don't find what he was looking for. What was he looking for? Did he mention any diabolical plans of any sort? It's real fuzzy, but maybe if you buy a job to gentlemen space donut dark matter filling, maybe some shirts and a hat, it might jar the old memory bloops. Nope, doesn't jog the memory bloops. You weren't asking for a bribe? What's a bribe? Dark matter is a horrible idea for a donut feeling. We should be coming up on the There it is! Fingers crossed, girl! 
Hopefully this will be the last of these pathetic places I have to visit before I find what I need! Ooh. Now, roll down the window so I may vomit into space! <laughs> have you seen this alien? Yeah, huh? Oh, yeops. I sure did! Nope. I, I mean, yeah. What is the deal? I've been to hundreds of these stupid space side attractions. And yeah, Zin's been to all of them, but he's also long gone every time. Why? I don't know. Oh, wait! You're dumb. Hey! If you're so smart, why don't you catch Zim? Okay then. Wait, you could have caught up with Zim any time? Why didn't you do it before now? You asked me to track Zim. You didn't say catch him. I hate you. Now you know how it feels. Zim located on the universe's biggest ball of snow. Finally, so close. I'd act excited, but I'm still mad at you. Come on, I'm sorry. Don't hold your excitement in because of something I said. That's very nice of you to say, Ship. And yeah, I am pretty excited. You're the stupid smile. Whoa! What? What happened here? Where's Zim? Are you on fire? Oh yeah, totally on fire. And if Zim is who did all this, you just missed him. Now, I get real talky when I'm on fire, so just sit back and let me tell you all about what happened. I've been all across the galaxy, and I've hit up every awful gift shop along the way. If there is no Zilactian historian who discovered the location of Fable Gargantus Array and went into hiding as a gift shop owner to keep our terrible secret secret, I'm going to be very unhappy! Well, I knew sooner or later someone would believe the stories and find me. There's a reason nobody can find the Gargantus Array, again. Nobody knows the jump codes that lead to it, and if I can help it, it'll stay that way. Unless you buy a bunch of stuff. Really? Neat! Wait, you told him your secrets? So why did he blow everything up? Oh no, his little robot did that. Tried eating up a space burrito he bought in the microwave, but he was real bad at it. Do you know what you've done? You gave Zim access to... to whatever Gargantus Array is! That was really irresponsible of you! Give me the jump code so I can stop him! No, you're right. I swore to protect the universe from people who would use the Array for evil. And look why I went and did. Sorry, I can't make that mistake again. So no, I can't give you the jump codes. What if I bought a shirt? Oh, yeah. Okay, then. You're really bad at protecting things. <laughs> Victory is near, girl. Soon I'll be in control of the Gargantus Ray. This was almost too easy to pull off without that meddling little... Zoom! What? No! I was gonna say Dib! Wait a minute! Dib? In space? That's right! I'm Space Dib! Now space is the butt of... Uh, hold on... Space is... God, I had a whole speech! Space is your butt! How did you... Wait, is that touch ship you're using? Who? You were gone a long time, Zim! Plenty of time for me to figure out! Oh my god! Ooh. You left to know you've never seen a gigantic mysterious thing that's so terrible and how it's stopping to do nothing! Listen, computer, if you're pattered after tax brain, then you hate Zim as much as I do. If Zim takes control of that thing, whatever it does, it means nothing good for Earth and victory for Zim. Zim winning is bad. Help me! It's tough, though, because I hate you both! Ugh. Just because you have an Urkin ship doesn't mean you know how to use it, Dib! Need my space dust! Well, you're right about that. So how do you fire the lasers or whatever one of these things? Oh, well, do you see the dark red panel on the right arm console? Nope. Wait, oh yeah, there it is. Oh 
Okay, just double tap that until light comes on it. And then, you get a reticle overlay. Why do you want to know? I just traveled across the universe of my own spaceship! I'm about to chase Zim through an ancient space weapon and save Earth! I'm both excited and terrified! Computer, say something inspirational to get me going! I hate that your butt is touching me! Uh, close enough! Well, here's hoping that there's a breathable atmosphere in this thing! Sweet! I didn't die! Now to stop- Hi! Hi! How you doing? Uh, I'm alright. I'm going to go stop Evil Master. What do you say? I said I'm going to stop Zim and save the world, you know? Okay, well, I got to go now. How are you doing? It's like this place is even bigger on the inside. Must find the control room! Zim! Where are you, Zim? No! I've come too far to let the human did room this! My greatest plan of all time! Plan greatest! I'm so lost! Huh? Where is he? <laughs> Sim! <laughs> huh? Ha! It's over, alien! You did your best! But your best wasn't good enough for Earth's finest! Over, Dib? Oh, but it's just started! You're already too late! Huh? The only thing you stopped was me admiring my victory! Oh no! I failed! I failed! This thing's gonna blow up the Earth! Humanity, forgive me! <laughs> what? No! You have it all wrong, Dib! The Gargantus Array is no weapon! Or it wasn't designed as one! With the right ammo, however. <laughs> what? You recorded my comeback workout? Human! The Gargantus Ray is a transmitter, a signal blaster, built by an ancient race of beings who learned to yell a lot! Transmitter? No. Oh. Hey, oh. Gaz! I didn't, I didn't know, know one of those farts, but I'm really scared! Oh, no! Is that... What is that? Do you hear that, Dib? That is a sound of all sentient life in the universe laughing! Laughing at you! <laughs> you may have followed me into space, human, but you won't find any respect here. Not now that everyone and everything has seen this! <sighs> Belly but it hurts. This is the most horrible thing I've ever seen! Why could I smell the transmission? Hey, can I get a ride home? No. Curse you then, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
thank you very much for 500 subscribers and over 8,000 views on the first dub. I have some announcements that I want to get to before you leave. First announcement is the change of Zim and Dib's voices, with Zim now being voiced by Nathan and Dib voiced by Ryan, the Zim in the first dub. I'm keeping this change since Ryan can't possibly do Zim's voice anymore, with him being diagnosed with bronchitis last year, and I don't want to risk that. Secondly, not all the editing was done by me this time. Nathan took over Ryan's part since as Ryan was editing the second issue, he lost all his files on his laptop. So all the compressing of audio was done by Nathan, and I only edited in sound effects, music, the beginning, and credits. Thirdly is actually along the lines of editing. You see, we are trying to aim to get all these issues done and caught up before fall of 2016, but we're going to need help to achieve that goal. If you are an editor and are interested in helping us out, please email me at montymovies19 at gmail.com. Since audio is the longest part of the comic, all you would need to do is compress the audio with that issue. If we get more editors, then maybe you'll only have to do half of the issue dealing with compression. So if you are interested, email me with the title, Interested in Editing, with a demo reel of your editing skills, preferably a comic, and I'll get back to you on an issue. Alright, I just want to give a shout out to these people right here. Thank you, Nathan, for stepping in and helping me with the editing. Without you, this issue would probably not be out yet. Thank you, Ryan, for filling in with Dib and helping me along with the issue as well. Thank you, Elka Chan, for your brilliant performance as Tack. I hope to work with you more in the future. Thank you, Navi Doom, for lending me digital copies of every Invader Zim comic for me to edit on since I am nowhere close to a comic store at all. Thank you, Shayna Martin, for inspiring me with your videos, with your kind words and caring heart, telling me that even if I have autism or disability, I can still do great things. And thank you, Invader Zim, the Doom Movie crew, for checking out my first comic dub and basically complimenting on how spot on Ryan's membrane was in the last video. I'm actually going to be creating a Gaz inspired song promoting their film real soon, too. So be prepared for my Gaz cosplay and song in the future. And that's about it. Please check out those people, it would really appreciate me. Check out my channel as well. I make songs, reaction videos, and small comic dubs for you all. I hope to talk to you all soon, and thank you for watching. Izzy out. Mm -hmm. Hi! How you doing?